Well, folks, me again, back again with another video today. I'm going to be talking about the gospel. Look, this is not me criticizing it or anything else. This is just myself and my two cents about it. Look, I love the gospel and everything. I love the good news about the gospel. Look, many moons ago, we welcomed outsiders. I mean, just look at the Bible. I mean, we welcomed outsiders in. And that's how the disciples of Christ started out. If you look at the Bible and biblical history, right, not that too long ago. Sorry, I just had to adjust my camera there. <laughs> I mean, even Christians always come after me, but I will say this. Judge not unless you want to be judged. Don't point the finger at that person because the finger's going to be pointing right back at you. Don't trade evil for evil. I mean, goodness gracious, I mean, we used to welcome outsiders in, but then it became more about what politics they are. I mean, good grief. I mean, it didn't matter what your politics are. I mean, we welcomed the outsiders in. I mean, that's what we used to stand for, but then it became more about their political dogma or what they posted on social media. I mean, good grief. I mean, just get off of social media. And this is why you barely see myself and many others watching on social media. We think we're barely on because it's just drama, drama, drama. Well, I think you barely see me. Hmm. There's always this question about, oh, was the gospel dead or is it that I'm like, no it ain't. It's still out there. There's many disciples out there. And there's also a lot of hypocrites out there. Who use it to get away with crime. They use the gospel to get away with murder. But when the commands specifically illustrate, Thou shalt not kill. Because I used to be one of those hypocrites. Until the moment I got right with God and repented, I really have. I really need, need to get like a phone stand or a tripod. But enough about that. Why is Christendom divided? Well, like I said, it's political drama. I mean, I mean, people tell me on social media, what side do you stand for? Oh, if you don't stand for this side, you don't stand for this, you don't stand for that. I'm like, I'm like, good grief. It's just drama, drama, drama. Why you think? Well, like I said, why you think you barely see me on social media? Why you think I do the Bible study videos? Because I consider it a breath of fresh air for me, and I get to spread the word of God with y'all and those who actually care. And, 
And Phil Robertson said the best. There's only one race, the human race. Only one. Hey, you're looking for what's inside a person. Not what's out here. I mean, Christendom became more about being a frat party than just welcoming outsiders in. And that's what it became. And the... And what you're seeing now is basically heresy and basically the gospel getting lost in translation. Even before I said yes to Jesus, I used to be those kind of people that wailed on and on about this kind of stuff. I'm like... Then later on I realized it's just not wor worth it any... This is not worth it anymore, but I still said yes to Jesus. I mean, you gotta get off of social media. I mean, it's just, like I said, drama, drama, drama. It's not a hippie thing or anything else. Go the way of Don Dawkin and just walk away. Go the way of Dawkin and walk away. I don't know, some people ask me, how do you want to be remembered after your time's up? I mean, basically just an open-minded person. Basically just a person who spoke what I had to say. Who spread the gospel to, to as much people as I possibly could. Anybody say, what's the future of your channel? Hopefully, better editing. Hopefully, better production. <laughs> That's been, I've been wanting to try out, but just don't have the time or the resources to do it. Hopefully, better ideas in the near future. After seeing the Bible study videos, holding up so well. I'm like, wow, people actually care about this stuff. Because I thought, oh, because when I did the first one, it was like, like oh, I'm going to get criticized because of this. And I could, I, I would picture like, people would say, oh, church boy or choir boy, oh, you don't deserve this, you don't deserve that, that. Then, then it, it never happened. And then the reception's been phenomenal, and thank y'all. And I thank my best friend Nikki in Texas for staying behind me to this very day. People say, what's the future hold for me? I don't know. I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But right now, I'm just crossing it. I'll get there when I get there. I mean, sure, I do read my Bible for inspiration. Get, it keeps me inspired, gets me going. Why everybody else freaks out about everything. I 
I mean, this is what society is. Too many problems and not enough solutions. If we had more solutions, the world would be an entirely different place. And you better make sure those kind of people are godly. If not, you're just playing Russian roulette with the afterlife. What do I think on my 24th, 4th birthday? Yes, it's true. I was born on Valentine's Day. Yep. So are many others. Watching. Yep. 24 years old. Celebrate the only way I know how. I never thought I would live to see 24, but my birthday's coming up on the 14th, so yeah. Better enjoy life while I'm still here. I mean, I love old war memorabilia. I have a family history of war, military history. I just enjoy the simple things in life. But anyway folks, hope you enjoy, like, subscribe. Follow me on Amino, TikTok, Discord, and God bless y'all richly. And I'll close out the video with a silent prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for being there for us. I do pray, Heavenly Father, for those watching on the other side of this here screen, and also those, those of my family, and those across the globe. For we, your human beings, are your creation, Heavenly Father. Here, just keep us safe through all the chaos, Heavenly Father. Other for we are your true chosen people, Heavenly Father. In our battle against the enemy, keep us safe, Heavenly Father. Other through, through your sons' name we pray. Amen.